Matt Hancock, the man who had to resign in June 2021 after being caught, kissing his aide, um, squirming around, not, I think, in a stationary cupboard, but that's part of my imagination, but um, I, I, I've tried to sanitise that and, uh, and remove the more sordid details from my memory. Um, but I'm sure those details are etched onto the memory of our nation, as is um, Matt Hancock's decision to uh, endanger the lives of people in care homes and uh, give jobs to the boys. And uh, at the same time, this backhander to Gina Colodangelo in the stationary cupboard. I don't think Matt Hancock should be crowing at having ended up a finalist of I'm a Celebrity, sordid, squalid TV, uh, that uh, I certain, I've, watched, I've watched a few minutes of it and reported um, and played back what I could on here, but I certainly have no intention of watching any more of this filth. And this is the one end of, of reality TV. This is the end of reality TV where the performer is submitted to all kinds, or submits to all kinds of humiliation for a cash prize or indeed just simply because they're desperate for some sort of publicity and fame. They, I, although I think it's squalid, it's the better side of reality TV because these people almost certainly come with their own management and agents and almost certainly have union representation should they want it. They are already in the business. The other end is where people who are unknown or for one reason or another don't have um, management are deprived of any form of power, are exploited, and after the show is over, face a further now under the particularly punitive uh, rules set out by Ofcom, endorsed by Ofcom, set out by the DCMS, um, they, uh, uh, which followed a committee meeting which was truncated by Boris calling an election and simply didn't finish. So the only um, evidence which the committee took was from production company officials and four, four participants, some people would call them contestants of these reality shows, four. And that's a, a, a manifestation of something which I think is not uh, particularly fair. Um, and it needs to be rerun. It needs f further um, examination is needed. And a government which isn't prepared to look at that and a ministry which isn't prepared to look at that is endorsing and indulging in a squalid form of entertainment. Very simple. But this other side allows for a, an exploitation of ordinary people which is distasteful, and that has led to suicides, uh, intense depression, illness, and so on. Uh, I have witnessed some of this. I may indeed have fallen uh, foul of some of it myself. I don't, um, I don't approve. I don't approve of the fact that um, the uh, actors' union equity doesn't wish to... Um, discuss these issues, doesn't think negotiation is important, and nor does the DCMS, it seems. And But it's not going to stop me writing, it's not going to stop me um, campaigning for this, because I think it's an important issue, and it's a marker of the way our society is moving. And it's about exploitation of innocent people. And the media is part of this game, because the media has got a... Uh, repeats the lie that these people are desperate for fame, that they brought it on themselves, that they knew what they were getting into, and uh, that when fame disappears they get depressed and, um, and all manner of disasters occur. It simply isn't true. The, the real problem is the level of exploitation that takes place during the shows and continues afterwards because what are these people supposed to do? They've got used to exploiting, they've got used to bullying, they've got used to pushing, 
and they continue doing what they're doing. A snake doesn't change its nature. And the same uh, production teams are at work in things like I'm a Celebrity. So the bullying, the cajoling, the pushing, none of the stuff that happens in the jungle is natural. It's pushed, it's, um, it, it's encouraged for the camera. So from that point of view, Nadine Doris was quite correct when she said that um, what was happening in uh, Tower Block of London was not genuine, was not authentic. Well, of course it wasn't. There is no such thing as authentic reality TV. Reality TV is staged and either the performer himself or herself is aware of that and obliges or they are pushed by production to oblige and they are all telling stories that they have no idea um, what part they play in that story. They are simply providing a role that has been written for them and the script is something that they haven't seen. It is a way of making television, it is a way of making entertainment, but as I say, it is exploitative and it doesn't matter whether it's um, the exploitation of uh, non-professionals or professionals, it is still an exploitative form of television. With professionals, at least we know they have some sort of representation and they have some sort of protection afterwards. People who are not professionals have none. Matt Hancock, what is he? Well, I presume he has representation. And I presume he's making money out of this. In fact, we know he's making money out of this. And I hope he judges it all to be worthwhile. I certainly wouldn't vote for him. And incidentally, I think I was working in his constituency, so had I remained there, I would have had an opportunity to vote for him. Um, but it's not something I would do.